Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a tutorial with all Shiromura products and I'm gonna show you in depth how I use the cleansing oil because it is its 50th birthday. It has been around for 50 years. This is the one I use today as well. So that's one of my cleansers that I use all the time. It is my go-to cleanser. It is amazing. And I also show you how to do this makeup looking. I show you how to do brows. Shiomura brows are incredible, let me tell you. I show you how to do this super easy eye look. It is one product, one product. And I show you how to get a glowy, beautiful contoured face and just some subtle lips, just to complement the whole look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So whenever you want to do makeup, you want to start off with clean skin. And the way that I'm going to cleanse my skin today is with Shuamura's cleansing oil. Now there are a few types of the cleansing oils and I'll show you the different types. So we have the yellow one, which is the cleansing beauty oil. We have the green one, which is the antiox pollutant and dullness cleansing oil. Then we also have the purple one, which is more for sensitive skin. So this is for brightening and polishing gentle cleansing oil. And then we've got the ultimate, which is an all rounder. It has eight different actives in it and it's just a beautiful one. I use this one on the daily, but I love that you can choose between different oils depending on how your skin is feeling. So today I'm going to choose the green one only because I feel like my skin is a little bit clogged and I mean it doesn't look dull but I just feel like it needs a bit of brightening so I want to use this one today so I'm literally just going to take three pumps and I'm just gonna mix it all in my hand and that's gonna go all on my face so I'm really just getting it in there really just rubbing it in And then what you want to have handy is some water and I've just got some water in a glass. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit and what we're going to do is we're going to emulsify the oil. So it turns into like a milky smooth texture. So I've just got a bit of water on my fingertips and I'm just going to go over that oil. I don't know if you can see it but I can feel it emulsifying. And now that I feel that it's all emulsified and it's sunken into the skin, I'm just gonna wipe it off with a towel, a clean towel. So now that my skin is all cleansed, I want my skin to be plump and moisturized. So to do that, I'm using the Shiomura Skin Perfector. And this is an oil as well. So it has a push pump and I'm just going to use a few drops as well of this and apply it all over the face. This stuff smells, oh, it smells so good. So now that our skin is all moisturized, to moisturize my lips, I'm using the Sheer Color Balm, and this is in Melt in Orange. So it's not gonna come out like that, don't worry. It's just the color. It's just super sheer and very subtle. <gasps> well, that was loud. So now for the base. I absolutely cannot go past Shilmura's light bulb foundation it is just a beautiful glowy coverage and it's just so comfortable on the skin so I use this with the matching light bulb sponge it's such a great sponge because you can get large surface areas with the bottom of the sponge and then you can actually get like under the eyes and like in the nose crevices and everything with the tip of the sponge as it is um, sort of got that point if you can see. So yes, I'm going to use the light bulb foundation and this is in medium sand. So this sponge creates such a flawless finish. It is insane. I'm using it dry, not wet as how you would use some other sponges, but it's just so soft. It's firm enough to push the product into the skin, but it's also just so soft. It's creating a really airbrushed finish. So I don't want to mess with the beautiful glow that I've created with my skin, but unfortunately I am the oiliest person that I know. So I'm going to use Shuomura's Colorless Light Bulb Powder, and this is a loose powder. So it also comes with a powder puff. So this powder is colorless, so it means translucent. It's not going to create any extra coverage on the skin. It's just literally going to set 
those areas in place. Okay, it's time for my brows now that my face is done. I'm going to use the Shuamura Brow Pencil and this is in the color Hard 6 and this is a hard formula. So these brow pencils, as you can see, they are hand sharpened. You actually can't use them well, I mean, you can use them sharpen normally with a normal um, pencil sharpener, but they are actually, this is a traditional way that a brow pencil is sharpened by Shuamura. And if you wanted it to be sharpened this way, you actually have to go in store to get it done. See how it's like sort of really thin and it's not actually like a point, like a normal pencil. So what I do with my brows is I usually outline first so that I know what shape I want to go. My God, that's sharp. <laughs> and then I do the top. Now I'm just tracing what I do have. I'm not going to go for a different shape because I like my shape. And then I'm just going to create little strokes to fill them in. And I also do upward strokes so that it mimics the brow hairs because that's how my brows naturally grow. They grow upward and there you go. One brow done, the other not so done. So I'll just do this one as well. I'm just going to outline again just to create the shape that I want. The way that it's sharpened, it is incredible for creating those small lines that look like hairs so now that the brows are looking all full i want to coat the hairs in something just to give them a bit of substance and keep them in place so i'm going to use eyebrow manicure by shuamura and this is in the color tawny gold and i use this color because i am quite light on my hair so i just literally coat the hairs upwards and it just adds a nice bit of coverage and different dimension to the hair so it's not just all one block color and you can actually see the hair strokes so now that i do have you guys in this close to my face i'm going to do my eyeshadow and this is probably one of the most easiest eyeshadow looks to date that i've done and i'm just going to use the shuamura eye foils and these are so easy to use they come with a applicator tip, so it's really easy to use as well. And so I just literally apply the product straight to the lid. So straight to the lid like that. It is such a gorgeous color, this color. And don't worry if you make a mistake. These are quite forgiving. They do dry and they're not gonna be wet, but you can blend them out and I'll show you now. So that's all applied. I just literally blend the edge out and it's actually going to look like you have done so much eyeshadow work. It's not funny because when you blend it out, the color sort of fades into a different shade. And there you go. It looks like I just spent hours doing like a smoky eye. So for the bottom of the eye, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on my brush. So I'm literally just connecting that outer corner to the lower lash line. Okay, so now that the brows and the eyes are done, I'm going to contour and highlight the face. To do this, I'm using Shuamura's Face Contour Palette, and this is in the color 03. So it's a very cool tone brown, which is amazing for contouring. And then we've got the highlighter as well. So this is actually a cream to powder product. So I'm going to use a sponge to do this, and this is just the fundamental sponge and I'm just going to go where I would usually contour so I'm just going to contour just underneath the cheekbones around the forehead and a bit down the bridges of my nose so I'm just taking a bit on a flat shaded brush and I'm just going to line it down the bridges of my nose to give a bit of definition to the face I also always contour underneath the lip just to create a little bit more shadow. So now to add a bit of glow to the face, I'm using Shuamura's Base and Top Coat Glow Boosting Cream. So you can use this as a base and just apply your foundation on top, or you can also use it in areas like the cheekbones, the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, um, the chin to make it look super glowy. So this is in a liquid form. This is in the color Warm Glow. So I'm just taking the other side of the sponge 
And I'm just gonna go in the areas that I want to glow, that I want that sort of wet look. Okay, so now that the face is all finished, I'm gonna go in with a lip color. And today I'm going to use Ambush Freedom, and this is the Rouge Unlimited Super Shine. So it's a gorgeous color like that. And I'm just gonna apply it straight to the lip. Then to finish everything off, I'm using the Skin Perfector by Shiomura, and this is a spray. So it's sort of like your makeup refreshing spray. You can also use it before you apply your makeup as well, um, but I'm gonna use it after just to set everything in place and make it look super glowy and fresh. So you wanna make sure you shake it before you use it because it is oil in water. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with Shiromura. I hope you learned something new and took away something that you can use for yourself and include it in your daily routine or use it when you're going out. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, then please subscribe to my channel. And of course, as usual, I will speak to you in my next tutorial.